So hi everyone. Uh, so hello Natalie. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Roger, and we are both on the same course, which is uh, the master coaching course from the Interna International Coaching Academy uh, yeah. based in Liverpool. And so here you will have the opportunity to listen to a French accent and the accent from Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> accents <laughs> the scouse and the french and the french accent yeah so yeah <laughs> all right so bear with us okay everyone <laughs> okay right so we are so we are on this course i think it's a great it's a great course so um but to start with because um we are in a pandemic for mm -hmm. a lot on luckier than we are in, yeah. in the in this situation and and things like that so um at the moment, okay. So, what is it you do, and uh, what? And during this pandemic, how do you yourself? How you are challenging it, uh, and what's and how do you to come out of it on the other side, as it, as it were, once once it's over. Over, yeah, that's yeah. it, isn't it? It's the ultimate question: when will this be over? Type of thing, and when will things go back to normal? Um, it is a difficult time and I think for me at the minute, you know, I'd not long started a new job. Um, I, I started a job sort of second week of January. So for me, um, it was probably if it was in my previous job, it might have been slightly different, you know, because I was learning a new skill, a totally new new sector of working because it was in education and I'd never been in education before. So that, that's been tricky to sort of manage working from home and also working with a, a totally different career really um, you know I did find it difficult I didn't know many people in the company um, so you know working remotely when you've not had that chance to build up a bond with people mm -hmm. that you've you know you might have known for years has, has been a bit difficult and then and the other upside is as well we've probably got to know a lot more people Mm -hmm. I've got to know people as well, you know, um, remotely still because you sort of make a conscious effort to use Zoom. Um, whereas I suppose in the office we use a thing called Slack. I don't oh, know, yeah, have, you, yeah. have you heard of it? I mean, I've never heard of it before now and it's the tool that everyone uses. So everyone slacks each other. So for those that don't know Slack, it's... So is it still WhatsApp. Yeah, it's yeah. communicating that's how they communicate with everybody yeah. so when you're in the office there's obviously walls divided in different teams you know so i suppose now instead of just slacking and you know you don't really see the person sometimes we're making an effort to actually zoom yeah. or use slack to to use a face-to-face -face. so it, it's it's its challenges definitely and it's been a bit up and down i think one thing I've noticed is working from home previously to a lockdown to working from home now yeah. in this lockdown, totally two different things. It's, it's insane um, because you've got, um, you know, you've got to look after yourself if you've got family. I mean, I look after my sister now. Um, so you've got another person you're responsible for. Yeah. So it's not a case of you can just get up uh, where I used to um, work from home. I'd literally probably get a lot of work done in four hours because nobody was bothering you previous to this. But now you're in lockdown, you're on more Zoom calls, it's more communication. And then you've got to make sure you're looking after yourself as well as your family that are around you. So it is. it, it has been a very difficult um, personally for me uh, because... Obviously, I've, I've recently lost my mum at the end of last year, as you know. So adapting to that has been difficult. And then now this has happened. Um, it's been a bit of a shock for me and Bethany. Um, and I think it's just been a bit difficult trying to get our head around what's happened. And then obviously we can't go out anywhere as much as we probably could before. Um, you know, we can go on our walks. I can say, I mean, usually, because I used to look after my wife and then, the and then what I used to do sometimes I just uh, used to go to town, take a book with me, did some study over there because I like the I like people around me, I like the noise and that kind yeah. of thing. And I haven't got this at home. I find it sometimes it's quite difficult. So the mm -hmm. so my I could say that my week is Zoom planned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, my week is Zoom planned. Yeah, uh, which is which is well. To be honest, I'm very really grateful for it because mm -hmm. if I didn't have access to the internet or anything like that, I would find it extremely difficult, to be honest. Yeah. 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 
and uh, so that's that's a big challenge. So now it's on plan, uh, and I've joined. There is a um, if you uh, have look on the internet, um, it's Maria told me uh, www dot read r e e d yeah dot co dot uk, and there are lots of courses on there that are yeah, okay. very cheap. So I I I, I apply to two. It cost me two nine pound each because they they asked me to put it's otherwise about four or five hundred pounds in normal time. Ah, okay. And then you can put a, a card in. So it went from ten pound to nine. Oh, brilliant! So oh, that's good. So one is in digital marketing, which I know nothing about. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. But I think that's the future. We need to be able to to be fluent in 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 mm -hmm. uh, in. Um, on the internet and all that and how to promote ourselves and the other one is something to do with life coaching is doing yeah mm -hmm. and uh, so um, so so that will be good and then and then your yourself so you're currently working mm -hmm. and are you still working for those people is your I'm still people? working yeah so full time which is obviously nine till half five so it's very difficult working a full time job hours while you're at home when you've got a 13 nearly 14 year old still doing all, all her school work so I was struggling quite a, like I'll be honest I was really struggling because part of me was like I need to work because you need to bring money in to pay bills but then Bethany was getting neglected because sometimes zoom calls would be 11 till 2 so it, it's literally taking all that time out when dinner time yeah, yeah. so she's having to get her own dinner i'm not eating my dinner at that you know together with her mm -hmm. she's then doing school work which needs you need to effectively become a teacher you need to sit there yeah. and help you know go through these these workbooks that have been given because the workbook that they're being given are, yeah. to, are new stuff so they don't know it really mm -hmm. so I've been you know so last week I took a week off um because I think I just hit a wall I completely just broke down to be honest um and then after the week off I had I think you know I probably need longer than a week off because this is not I just literally just felt like I was spinning one plate, two plate, three plates, every single plate. And um, it was just too much. So I spoke to my employers and they put me on furlough as of next week. Oh, um, yeah. So furlough, that, that's, uh, it means that you're not working, but the government is paying you or something like that? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So the government pay 80%. Uh, of my wages, which I think 80% is better than nothing. I think your mental health and your well-being yeah, is more Yeah, important. that's what you said, 80%. And how long can they do that for, that 80%? Um, so it's, um, so they, we're going to look at it every three weeks, so three-week increments, um, because yeah. obviously we don't know when the ban's going to be lifted, what's going to happen. Um, you know, after three weeks, I might have got, you know, a bit more stable and, you know, Bethany's okay, but... I just think anyone with a family, and it, especially I'm effectively a single parent. Um, oh, is that you know, yeah. yeah, no, so that's my sister, so who oh. will look after? So, oh, look, yeah, she's, uh, yeah, so is that Bethany? That, that's yeah, Bethany, yeah. So it's just me and Bethany. Right. So I think, yeah. yeah, so it's difficult when you, you're looking after. Um, you know children and trying to work I, I can imagine you know I've spoken to other parents they find it really difficult yeah you know they don't want to stick the kid in front of an iPad they don't want to you know go oh get out my way while I'm trying to work they don't want to remember they don't want their children to remember this time as a time that mum or dad or whatever was just working constantly and, and you know didn't actually give them any any attention because I think it's, you know, children's mental health is going to be quite a big one. I think people, oh, yes. they, you they, know, we find it hard. I think children are, you know, depending on their age, it's a very strange time, isn't it, for kids at the moment. So mm -hmm. for me, I was just very fortunate enough that, you know, my employers did decide and were happy to, yeah. um, to furlough yeah. me. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's a very challenging time, but at least we can say, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, mental health, I mean, unfortunately, some people have taken the life of, a, of, a, of the pandemic and, the, and they were not even affected by yeah. the illness itself. Yeah. So, yeah, it is. It is difficult. So, I mean, luckily enough, I am in touch with my parents every day. They're still alive. 
Um, uh, yeah, yes. and then uh, every day uh, I'm I'm into it. So yeah. that's good. And then my call uh, is uh, is the one that's helping me with this Google Drive. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, and then you upload it in those yeah. one channel account, but. I should be able to edit this one and trim the video on the left, on the right. Listen up to where we we uh, yeah where, where where I waffle a bit, so then I can cut it off. <laughs> you'll be an expert. You'll be you'll be doing this for other people by come the end of this. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. Technology, I'm a whiz. Yeah. yeah, you'll be like got it down. I can chop videos. I can edit. I can do all kinds. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to do it to be honest. I mean, uh, yeah. because the, I like to create stuff and talk to people and and and, and create stuff and then the uh, uh, because there are so many because with we what's going on. I don't think I mean the nine to five jobs are going to become so rare in my opinion. I agree. They there will be very few and far between. Mm -hmm. and, for, and for the one that's left, is the competition is going to be absolutely enormous. I mean, it's not, I don't know. I mean, there is 25 million people in America out of out of work. And can you imagine those people going on the on the door queue and stuff? And then in the UK, it's obviously it's a smaller country, so it's about mm -hmm. one or two million people sign, or maybe a bit more. Yeah. In in the space of a month. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. And I think for for me, I was saying this to a friend the other day. I think some like and John mentioned it today as well like a lot of companies are going to be looking for the best of the best and well, yeah, it's good to be, other yeah. companies. Yeah, it's going to be like, I mean, even if you are in the top 5%, that might not be enough. You may have to be in the top 1%. Yeah, so, that's it. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Because I think, um, you know, some companies out there might have thought, you know, I wanted that person from that competitor company. And now this is their time to poach people because of, Companies haven't performed well. Oh, I can imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right there. It's exactly big. because if companies haven't performed well and they haven't looked after the staff, they haven't took their well-being into consideration. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, other pl employees out there that are setting an example and are looking after their employees will go right. Okay, we want the best of the best, so yeah. we will we will cherry pick and get other people from other companies for sure. I think that's how it's going to go, and I think, I think there's there is a lot of sadness and a lot of negative. You know, you know, you do see the un unemployment rise, but what I would like to see is, you know, people that have always had a burning desire to do something different in the career to use this time now to go. Do you know what? Actually, I can actually train, like you've just said, look at different online courses. Yeah, I mean, uh, look at it and do it at home. You know, you've got that yeah. time now to go. I've just got to be disciplined, and that's all it is. And those that are disciplined will come through this the other end. Yeah. Um, and will will make this a positive. Oh yeah, I mean, the, we can we can turn it around. So this one of the reason why I started YouTube. I opened the channel a while ago, but I never did anything about two or three months before before my wife passed away. And then the idea was to work from here and create an income out of it. And then I just decided to carry on because mm. that's what she would have want, wanted to anyone that we carry on. And, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And then, so uh, I just carry on with this. And then, but the more I go into it, the more I discover there are so many, how can I put it? So many income stream you can develop and using YouTube as a base. Mm -hmm. I believe so. I don't know the ins and outs, but I do believe it does. You can get a lot of, it's a, quite a good way for people to gain revenue, isn't it? From the subscribers yeah. and things but like one that. Thing, yeah, one thing about this, and I think that's, that's going to teach me some kind of discipline, which I need to have in, in what I do, is that uh, yeah. you, you, with this YouTube thing, and then I can apply to other things, you have to be very extremely consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You cannot just say, oh, I'll do a video this way, or I can be bothered next week, and then you yeah. go back on it. Hello, it's me again. No, that, yeah. that doesn't work. You've got to be consistent. Whether it's just one a week, or two or three, or yeah. maybe four, and then you have to find a balance between quality and uh, of your uh, video and, and the quantity, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then things like that. So uh, the video, the video, the camcorder I use is not too bad. 
but mm -hmm. I think at some point, if I want to move to the next level, I'll have to use a better camera mm -hmm. to make sure that the people, you know, they're attracted to, yeah. to the quality of it that makes them explode mm -hmm. the thumbnail and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's it, isn't it? What you just said is consistency as well. And I think it's not, you know, it is being disciplined and, and, you know, we're all guilty of being not that disciplined, you know, when it comes to anything. I mean, I've started to diet every other, every other Monday. It's just ridiculous. I don't have any discipline when it comes to that. I think we've just got to make sure we put a step every time we make a step, it's a step the right way. You know, if, you know, and just making sure that you don't, berate yourself if you go oh i've not done it today so i'm not going to do it tomorrow just go right okay i haven't done it today but you know what tomorrow i will i'm going to forgive myself yeah i'm going to forgive myself for not doing it and i'm going to now going to do it tomorrow so i think we've got to forgive ourselves because sometimes we can berate ourselves and put ourselves down when we don't need to and you know no one is super 100% disciplined, unless I think you're probably Gandhi. Um, you know, we're all guilty of it. But I think as well for me, uh, Roger, it's having confidence as well. You know, to have confidence to put yourself out there to break down your barriers and, you know, you know, have the confidence like you do in this. It's got to take confidence. And, yeah. you know, some people think oh we're, we're all born with abundance of confidence but it is a, it's a it's a brave thing to to do anything what you want to do um you know so it is hard and that's what i like to try and encourage people is to work on their inner self and be confident because it's you know if it was easy as i you know everybody would do it wouldn't they Pardon, sorry, the last bit, sorry. i said if it, if it was easy everyone would do it oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, if yeah. it was easy, I mean, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. And then, uh, uh, yeah, if it was easy, everybody would do it. But I, I think this, uh, yeah, I mean, no, you're absolutely right. And we need to, uh, one way I found my confidence is through Toastmasters, when I joined Toastmasters about two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. okay. and, uh, and after that, I did the speaker challenge. And after the... Um, uh, I'm still on with the speak up challenge people, yeah, because it's been extended because of the virus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and uh, the, it's all online now, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, but I think once since I've done that, pe uh, I've, I've noticed people can understand me better mm -hmm. than, they, than they used to. And I'm not saying that to a few English people, they don't tell me. <laughs> And then he said, English people are too polite. So, they, so they are, there was a very f funny speech from a, a Chinese lady who was married to an English guy. Yeah. She, she did such a funny speech about it, you know, when, uh, oh, um, because obviously she's got a Chinese accent, not so much now, but when yeah. she explained, so when she says, oh, it was so funny, she, she says, oh, English people tell you your English is beautiful, this and the other, and then she goes, in fact, it means it's bloody rubbish. I can't answer the word of what you're saying. Can you please speak slower? And then, and then she, she, uh, and she does that for about five, seven minutes, taking different examples. And that's all. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. And that, then I was in the audience. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny, isn't it? With languages and, and barriers. I always remember, if, um, it's a funny story. When I, I lived in Australia, um, God, way back when, when I was 18, 19, I went traveling, um, loved Australia. I'd done the backpack thing and then I decided to get an apartment, me and my partner at the time. Oh, yes. And then we had a lovely apartment and it was great. And we were out one night for Paddy's Day. So, do you know St. Patrick's Day? Oh, yes, St. Patrick's Day, yeah. So, we're in Australia in an Irish bar and I start talking and this guy who was Irish. Oh no, sorry, yeah, hang on there. No, the guy was Irish. Yeah. And then he goes to me, are you from Ireland? And I'm like, you're from Ireland. Do I sound like I'm from Ireland? No. I'm a scouse, I'm scouse. And he's like, and then I'm like, how many of you had to drink? And he's like, you really sound like you're from Ireland. And I'm like, you're from Ireland, not me, I'm scouse. So that was the first one. And he was from Ireland. Then when I went out to another bar, there was a bouncer on the door and he was like, he was Australian. And the Australian guy went, the bouncer, 
so where are you from? And I'm like, oh, England, like the UK, Liverpool. And he's like, are you sure? You sound like you're from Ireland. And I'm like, I am not from Ireland. <laughs> Everybody in Australia, I came across near enough a lot of them thought yeah. the Scouse accent mm. was Irish, probably because we talk very fast. Oh, yeah. yeah because of that. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. And then uh, sometimes people, uh, they don't mention anything these days because probably because I am a bit clearer when I speak to them, which mm -hmm. is good. I need to be clear. Yeah. And then at some point they, they thought, well, you're from, you're from Germany. Or some people say, said to me, are you from Sweden? I said to them, no, not really, because Swedish people are very tall. I'm not very tall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I've had that. I've had I've had Italian when I was in Italy. Like people stop me and speak Italian because they clearly must be lost. And I'm like, <laughs> no. No, that... it didn't help that I had a beret on as well. I love my hats. Oh yes. So I had a beret on in in Milan, and then she was like, "Oh, that aunt," like as if she was lost. I think she was lost because she was just talking in Italian, and I just was like, oh, "I'm really sorry. I'm English." <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's funny, isn't it? And in terms of the master course you're doing now, uh, are you already qualified to John's training? No, this is, I mean, because obviously I've had, you know, with, with things that happened last year, I, I'd, I was nearly finished, but oh, yeah. I've missed a few. Um, so I've had to pick it back up again this, you know, the beginning of this year, but I've completed, obviously there's four, module uh, four topics within each module isn't there in each yeah. so i've completed three yeah. of every one <laughs> so yeah. i'm one in every certificate oh yeah 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 so there's a couple of modules that i need to finish not many no um, yeah. so it, it shouldn't be long till i finish it hopefully yeah and then uh, so have you uh, are you are you planning to have uh, your own um, coaching business life coaching business yeah, no, that's what I'd love to do. Yeah, I find it's always been a natural thing for me from a kid. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's always been sort of there, sort of helping people and guiding people. Um, I've done it many times with friends without realising what I've, I've done. Oh, so, yeah, without realising you were doing it, yeah. Yeah, and I just, you know, and then obviously as, you know, time goes on and, and years go by, I just think you learn so much knowledge and so many mistakes you've made and you've learned oh, yes, from them. I, yes, I And agree. I just think it's important to to pass that on to people. Yeah. So, you know, and I've, I've opened up two businesses. Um, one was very successful and great and I sold that and made um, profit off it. And then I set up another business oh. that didn't do the best. Um, I'll be honest, um, you know, it's still ticking over now. But I think the reasons why it didn't is because I never had the passion there as I did the first business. So yeah. the amount of hurdles, because you get it, literally owning a business is like this. Yeah continuous but you made a good point there you you mentioned about passion mm. i think you're right you need to have the passion to make it well don't you yeah 100 percent. and if and i think because subconsciously i didn't really want to do the, the second business ah, i think yeah. that was probably and that that's the reasons why i was you know energy was blocking it to, to be successful and i did win some good contracts and and things like that and you know I, I did you know I did make money but not money compared to what other other companies yeah. made and it was no and uh, nowhere near in terms of my, my first business and what was your first I, business uh, so my first business I had a bridal shop selling oh, wedding dresses a bridal shop oh yeah 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 so selling wedding dresses, uh, it was like a bridal boutique mm -hmm. and I absolutely adore the industry. I um, loved, loved every minute of, of having the shop um, mm -hmm. and I sold it after two years. Um, mm -hmm. I wasn't, it wasn't my intention to sell. <laughs> um, I'd probably still be in the industry, but I met somebody um, and then I moved away. And basically that was mm -hmm. the end of that story. So it was, yeah, it was, I, I'm a believer in everything happens for a reason. So. And now um, the moment you are in, yeah, everything happens for a reason. I do agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you said you are in, in education now? So now I'm in education. Yeah. I'm, I'm in sales within an education software company. Oh, right. Okay. So you sell for them. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm the te- I'm one of the sales managers there. Right, and you said online and stuff like that, obviously, now this day? No? Well, this is it. it is all online, but I mean, obviously, we're, the schools are closed at the moment, so it is a little bit difficult to try and communicate it to the people. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, yeah. Although the company does look after, we do um, supply software systems to 18,500 schools. So there is still work there and especially the current accounts we do yeah. still look after um so it is still very much business as normal and business as usual and and things and it's taken over mm-hmm. quite nicely so it's good it's a positive really um, oh, fantastic. That's very good. good yeah so, yeah it's good yeah but that's my passion is to is to help people in education as well not just in education just children um you know because i think education is an important thing for all children to have yeah oh yeah i mean i mean john keeps saying it and and he's right we need to educate ourselves all the time we need to be learning yeah and he's right and then maria was talking that's maria that guided me to the uh to the website read.co.uk yeah. where i signed up for a couple of courses and then she said she couldn't believe she works in construction as well she's um, yeah. and then she anyway to cut a long story short, she mentioned she had an example of so many people from the company, and uh, they just can't be bothered. Only one, only one person took, uh, and uh, they just expect things to be back to normal. But I don't think it's going to be. I think this world is going to change, and yeah. and uh, and I think, to be honest, I think we need to look at our planet massively. Yeah, I better. agree. I mean, that could be the topic of another video, guys. <laughs> but we need to look That's at... That's a massive topic, that one, Roger, definitely. Yeah, because... Uh, yeah. Because we're not been looking after our planet, really. And yeah. uh, so how do we expect to be... How do we expect to... I mean, they blame each other where the virus is coming from, this and that and the other. But somebody mentioned that uh, if we're not looking after our planet... There will be another pandemic, maybe ten years time, five, ten years time, if we don't look after this planet. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. It was the point of blaming China or blaming this, blaming that, and the other. They should be working together. They should be um, exactly, and it is as you say. It is one planet. It is. Yeah, and, and, and that's the French president said. It. Yeah, the French president said that before. He said, you know, we live on planet A. There is no planet B. Exactly, yeah. it's one planet. It's not like, oh, oh, I have enough for planet Earth. I'm, I'm jumping on my um, jet and I'll go up there. I know. I'm like, when are the aliens coming? Can you take me? Yeah. Oh, I've got, I see an alien outside my window. Yeah, give me 10 yeah. minutes. I'll be, yeah. I'll be with you in 10 minutes. Exactly. I know that's it, isn't it? It's like, you know, we don't have the option to, to go up in space. And I think that's... Um, is the funny question isn't it i think that's you know a massive topic is the environment and how we are looking after the planet and i've always said it humans are not the best creatures of if that's what we want to call them i mean humans do kill the earth don't they at the end oh of the yeah earth. i mean in some know, cities, we are terrible. Yeah. yeah to in some cities i know now they can see i think it's, it's a big city in india is it in india where they can see the himalayas is that where it is yeah, yeah. the himalayas yeah, yeah, for the yeah. Time. yeah so they can see part of it now which they couldn't before yeah, yeah. It's awful. and then uh, so yeah and then so greta thunberg uh, that um, um she's swedish, not, yeah. Yeah. swedish yeah. yeah yeah she's right and i'm glad she beat trump to the best person for it with the Time. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Sometimes she beat him. He was furious. Yeah, good, yeah. good. But but she, yeah. we we need to look after this planet because there will be other disease, disease and illnesses. Otherwise, that's going to just pop up. Yeah, I mean pollution now is just awful. I mean, as you say, you you just mentioned then the Himalayas. You can see. I mean, the the rivers in Venice have cleared up, and there's you know the rivers in Venice were black. And it, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And now the clear, you know, wildlife is returning to certain parts of the world. It's you know, I think people have got to realise that the planet is a very, um, it's the right word to use. It's but it's a living thing for the planet. Thing, it? it's, it's a living thing, the planet. Yeah, it's a living thing. It's a sacred thing. Yeah, isn't it? It's yeah, living, it's, breathing. Well, yeah. 
it's like, it's like you know, we don't look after trees and we're constantly knocking them down for paper which is just money you know what's you know where do you think oxygen actually comes from you know it's insane mm -hmm. right okay that's been great to talk to you right, okay before we finish okay yeah well uh, i've made a few notes as we were talking yeah in uh, what could we leave our viewers with? Oh, by the way, guys, don't forget to subscribe. You can see that below. Please subscribe. And yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. And then uh, like the video too. Um, okay, so what the two or three key um, things we could encourage people to do to be able to, uh, to um. be able to I've, uh, I've written up a few, a few things here, and then um, we mentioned, so, okay, so the, the, the few things I'm, I'm, I've, I've written down, try to, or try, or whenever possible, learn something that's mm -hmm. going to help you, it's for when we get out of it, to an extent, I think it's going to be, because life could be different, so, mm -hmm learn something so um educate yourself yeah educate yourself when you do then and try to uh, and also develop some discipline in your life and mm -hmm. whatever you do do it on a consistent consistently yeah and i think yeah that's it and i think for me i would say just you know in this time use it wisely you know whether you need to take a break and take a pause and you want to watch you know have a day where you just do nothing then that's fine um just you know don't apologize for it but i would say that don't do that every single day you know you don't want to really get through this pandemic and go i've watched you know 10 box sets which had 24 episodes in each box set oh, yeah. um you know i think it's it's a bit i definitely don't want to come out of this and go i've watched every single film and every series on netflix i think that is a waste of time in my opinion I just think this is the time where you can, you know, chill, take a break if you need to, but, you know, really use this time to read books, you know, find your true passion, you know, start watching YouTube, listening to other people's stories, because other thing as well, Roger, a lot of people don't know what they want to do. So it's very difficult. Oh, it is. I mean, it is very yeah. difficult sometimes. And, to, yeah. Because and I think you should write down for me I, I said to a friend the other day just write down things you like to do you know don't think of a career don't think of any job just write down what you like to do do you like interacting with people do you not like interacting with people you know do you like being on phones do you like being using a computer you know try and think of the little things that you like to do do you like reading books do you like analyzing things you know what is it you like to do do you like music and there's lots of different things you've got to think of what you like to do and incorporate that and think, okay, you know, let's put a, a, a picture together of these things because sometimes your career or where you want to go in your next step mm -hmm. might not be that easy to identify. So no, I think it's quite easy to identify, yeah. You know? So just write down things, you know, listen to people's stories, you know, just try, try and go back to the time when you were in school and, and what you enjoyed as a child and it might reignite and re-engage you yeah. to what your true passion is. Because it is very hard when you get stuck in your mundane life, you know, you've got a nine to five job, you know, you feel like it's Groundhog Day, you've got a family to look after, you put yourself you know at the at the end of the list mm -hmm. so i think use this time to really find out who you are what you want you know in career relationships life do you want to travel more and just just write things down i think when you put pen to paper things will naturally flow yeah um, it it i always say this to everybody yeah. write things down don't type it down, write things down all the time because the more you write, it will naturally flow onto a piece yeah, of paper. Yeah, it will come to you. Um, and yeah. you'll be surprised. Hmm. Okay, so I would say absolutely learn something for yourself, find who you are. Yeah. And, and above all, for now, just uh, keep safe and stay keep safe. Yeah, yeah, definitely keep safe.